Hello, 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 what's up guys, it's Pixelated Palo, and welcome to this Medieval 2 Total War battle replay. This is a free-for-all battle, I don't play these too often, but they are a lot of fun, I really should play them more. Uh, it, it, it brings different strategy to the game, it's kind of like two 1v1s in one map, where you have to effectively beat the first, first enemy, and then beat the second enemy, and it kind of brings different strategy, so it, they're a lot of fun. But uh, let's just go ahead and get into this battle. I'm playing as the Byzantine Empire. Very nice. Uh, the very first opponent here, we have England being commanded by Papa Woodchuck. Uh, he brought a very nice rush army here. And let's see, we have Milan being played by Paladin Bob. Nice to play with you, Paladin. And lastly, we have... A Hungarian faction being played by Swiss Man 15. So some very good players in this match. Uh, let's just go ahead and go over army comps. I'm gonna try to go as many, as quick as possible. There are four armies, so let's let's do this fast. I've got four units of Trebizond archers. Some of them having armor upgrades, some do not. Behind them, I have the Dismount and Latin Con. These guys look really cool. I've got four of them. Uh, behind them, I have three units of Spear Militia. And behind them, I've got Mounted Latin Con. I have some Byzantine Lancers, three units. So three units of Byzantine Lancers, two units of Latin Con. And here is my General's Bodyguard. I accidentally broke the rules. It was 5-2 Cav, and I brought 6 Cav, but that's okay. I told them about it, and they were okay with it, so that's good. Um, let's check out England here. He's got, let's see, three units of Bill Militia. That's pretty cool. You don't see these guys too often. Uh... He has some peasants, I guess, as a meat shield. He has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, no, four units of armored sergeants. And then on the very end, he has two units of dismounted feudal knights with no armored upgrades. Let's see, over here, he's got some dismounted English knights. Let's see, one, two, three, four units of them. He's got some demi lancers, three units. He has knights hospitaller. And more demi lancers. So he brought a very interesting army. It's heavy infantry, but he has a lot of anti cav over on this wing. So that is a nice army. Let's check out the Hungarian force here. Let's see, he's got the Royal Bandurum here. Let's see, one, two, three, four units of them. Behind them, he's got one, two, wait, 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 wait. One feudal knight. Let's see, one. Oh, he's got them all mixed up in here. Hang on. I hate when this happens. Let's see, one two, three, four units of Dismounted Feudal Knights and four units of Shivrick Knights. So a good mix of Shivrick and Feudal Knights. And behind that, he's got four units of Pavi's Crossbowmen. And he has his General's Bodyguard. And last but certainly not least, we have Milan over here. He's got three units of Genoese Crossbowmen. Very good crossbow unit. Uh, he's got some Dismounted Feudal Knights and he's got a ton of Pike Militia here. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, six units of Pike Militia. He has more Dismounted Feudal Knights over in this wing. Man, I like Milan. I really like their color scheme there. And then he has, let's see, more Feudal Knights. He's got some Dismounted Men at Arms and one more Feudal Knight. And for Cav, he's got Knights Hospitaller, two of them. And over in this wing, he's got Knights Templar. So he's got some really good Cav. And he has his General's Bodyguard. So let's go ahead and play this. So at first we'll focus on my battle and then we'll see what the other engagement is, what they're up to. But uh, yeah, I see that England is super close and I have the terrain advantage, so I'm gonna go ahead and face him. Get to watch my glorious Byzantine Empire march. Biz biz. I love the Byzantine Empire. Mostly because they have a lot of unique units. And they're purple. And purple is such a cool color. So now I'm rushing over. Uh, I make a huge mistake here. I didn't know he had a rush army build. Honestly, I thought he had some archers in there. Uh, maybe I glanced at the Bill Militia and thought they were like longbowmen. 
but they weren't, and uh, yeah. I should have took my time here, I should not have rushed. I have the, the archer's advantage. I need to take my time, get some volleys off. But it does look like I'm going to get some volleys off here. I'm moving my archers further up, trying to get in a good position. Shibazon, look at the difference of the armor upgrade without and with. There's a huge difference. Only one unit has an armored upgrade. Alright, now I'm going to do a cab charge to these peasants. Just so they don't uh, mess with my, my archers. So these guys have routed. I'm going to retreat my cav. Moving up my uh, infantry. I'm putting my uh, spear militia to my right. They're going to protect my right flank. Uh, this this terrain right here is pretty awesome because he can't really charge up here. I'm getting some good volleys off. I've killed a lot of men in the front lines. But I need to kill more. He does have a rush army, guys. I need to kill lots of them. Slaughter them, archers. Slaughter. Alright, so now I'm doing a glorious cab charge over here. I see his demi lancers. I've moved way to my right. So I'm going to meet him. I'm moving my Spear Militia to help protect their flank and help engage this cav. Here we go, here comes the charge. So I get the charge off. But I'm not, it looks like victory is on my side. Or victory is in, in my favor, favor, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, now we have colliding infantry. So I'm going to try to get another good charge off here. And look at all the infantry he has, and I just have s such few infantry. So it's not good. I'm going to easily get overwhelmed. And then he's flanking over here with Cav here, with uh, some Devi Lancers and his General, or Knight's Hospitaller. So I got my General charging in with some Spear Militia. Huge fight going on, huge cab battle. Here comes some more cav. Gonna charge into these dismounted English knights. Uh, fairly decent charge, but I need to get them out of there because they will slaughter my cav. There they go, I'm gonna retreat. So the infantry fight is going in my way. Oh, here comes a good rear charge here. So this is not good. This is where he's wrapping around. I don't know why I'm not engaging this infantry. Charge. Uh, but this, this one infantry unit is protecting the flanks of my army. So the balance of forces is pretty even right now. Just trying to get my general over to, to uh, protect my flank. Just running him, running off this cab unit here, these demi lancers, and the fight over here is really close. Victory seems certain still for me. But he does have this reinforcement demi lancer that is going to come by and try to save the day for his cab. My spear militia are getting in there. Getting some kills. Ooh, good charge there. I got my archers shooting at this Demi Lancer unit. And I'm about to be outflanked by some dismounted English knights, which is not good at all. But if my men can hold, ooh, this rear charge is not going to be good. I really don't have any answer for this, uh, this cav charge. I'm going to try to throw my general at him. But he's going to quickly get out of there before he gets in trouble. But this is a very close battle indeed. And a very quick battle. And uh, we're starting to get some routing on my front lines, which is not good. And look at all these English knights that are going to flank around and cause havoc for my Latin Con. Which are fighting bravely on the front lines.
And the Cav are still fighting, they're still engaged. Uh, it's down to such lo low numbers of Cav. Let's see what's going on over here. I do have some Latin Con. Looks like they're routed and they're gonna come back. But at this point, it looks like the battle has lost. <laughs> I have lost the battle. And uh, all is lost. But I'm going to hold and I'm going to try to get as many kills as I can. This is not scored, by the way. This is last man standing. So uh, I guess I'm just going to try to make it as difficult as I can for England to win this game. Try to get as many kills as I can. But uh, I do win this engagement over here, kind of, sort of, with three men left. But uh, yeah, I have three cav here. And they're just going to... They're gonna, they're gonna try to, oh, wait, there's some Milan, never mind. So Milan came over to say hello. And it looks like these guys haven't even started fighting yet. So, looks like he's just trying to help finish this fight a little bit earlier. But look at these Knights Hospitaller, they look so cool, the black and green, that looks awesome. But my cab breaks, uh, I have some Trebizon fighting for their lives. Uh, my Latin Con is still holding strong in the main line. General dies, and pretty much GG for me, tragically. But there's still a lot of fighting left for this rest of this replay. My Latin Con are bravely fighting. So yeah, at this point I'm just trying to score as many kills as I can. Look at all the death over in death and carnage over here by the two trees. So many lives lost. For what? For what? Alright, here comes uh my archers, my mighty Trebizon archers. One more volley, boys. One more volley. Ooh, I'm gonna go for his calf. Actually, yeah, I killed one there. Let's see if I can get any more kills. Come on. Come on, get another calf kill. Before they charge! I do have some Latin Con that return from routing, but they're shaken and they're not really gonna put up much of a fight. And they- ooh! So we have a dead general over there. A dead Milan general. So that's pretty much the end of this fight, so let's go ahead and check out this engagement. And this one starts off pretty fast. Uh, Milan forms this uh, pike wall here, and looks like the Hungarian faction, uh, Swiss man, he's going to focus down one side of it. Because the thing about uh, pike walls, guys, is that you don't have to engage them. They're very slow, and if you want to go around them, be my guest. Go around the pike walls. But look at this carnage. I've never seen so many pikes grouped up. It's crazy. So we have some routing uh, Knights Hospitaller. Such a large force to be routing. We have uh, General's Bodyguard. We've got this unit of uh, dismounted men at arms surrounded. Here comes a rear charge from Milan. It looks like the pikes are down over here. That's not good. He's not going to hold much longer without the pikes. And look, his men are already fighting to the death. So now he's going to try to reform up his pikes. And it looks like Swiss man, he's going to break through here. We got two little groups of infantry fighting each other. Here comes a cab charge from the rear into the pikes. It's pretty huge, and that causes a, a rout here. And that is not good. And here comes another uh, counter charge by Milan, Paladin Bob. Gonna try to protect and save his men. There goes the uh, general. 
for Hungry Hungary. Hungry, hungry hippos. But uh yeah. You know, feudal knights and shivrick knights, they're gonna destroy Pike Militia. So we do have some uh, fighting over here. We have some dismounted feudal knights taking on some Pavi's crossbows. So the battle is not quite over yet. His men are regrouping. Their morale has returned. They still believe they can win this fight. So it looks like uh, Milan's gonna regroup his army. Meanwhile, you can see England over up on this hill. He is going to slowly walk his army back over to this side. Let them regroup. Here is another cab charge. These feudal knights are doing work against these knights templar. And there is a side charge by the general's bodyguard. And that causes that, that cab unit to rout. So look at the carnage on this battle. Pretty deadly. Looks like we had early cab fighting. And then the, the infantry then collided. Very nice. This, this pleases Apollo. But uh, even though my army's dead tragically actually I have one unit over here and they're running they're way in the distance say goodbye goodbye pixelated Apollo's army all right let's go back to the fight uh, where where's the fight here's the fight sorry about that guys so even though Swiss man destroyed the pike army uh paladin bob is still giving them a tough time these pavis or these genoese are setting up here and getting a lot of kills and uh, making this difficult look at this they just slaughtered this cav unit genoese are deadly and i'm pretty sure milan is the only faction that can bring genoese Look at they're they're putting up a strong fight here. Here come some Shivrick knights. We've got some fighting over here. We've got some pike militia. They're routing though. And that looks like it's just about the battle. Here's some returning pike militia. Some returning Genoese crossbows. It's kind of hard to tell what's going on. My flags disappeared. I guess they disappeared because of my army being destroyed. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, the flags that appear above the unit. It kind of makes it a little bit more confusing, but it's more cinematic, I guess. But here we go. Here's some Genoese, and they have broken. They don't want anything to do with those uh, Hungarian feudal knights. There's a cab charge into the pikes. Royal Bandrium. Look at these Genoese. They are putting up a great fight here. They will not. They will die with honor. They will not break. Look like Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Finally they break, they're like, alright, alright, we won't die with honor, we're getting the hell out of here. Oh! Better get out of there. Alright, so that is... That is the Milan army. Gone, just like my army. Oh, wait, 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 he's got one more unit here. Some brave feudal knights. Okay, so now I think that's the Milan army. So what we're going to do now is fast forward. It does take quite a long time for England and the Hungarian Swiss man to eventually meet up and kill each other. So I'm going to fast forward. 
All right, guys, so I cut a little bit of the battle out. That way you didn't have to see it. Uh, you didn't miss anything. It's just these two armies marching to their doom. England is marching down from that massive hill to give uh, Swiss man a fair challenge. So looking at these armies, England definitely has the advantage in infantry. But Swiss man does have the crossbows. So pause the video right now. Pause it right now and leave a comment on who you think is going to win. We have the Hungarian force by Swiss man with pavies and a decent number of infantry. And we have England over here with very elite, heavily upgraded units with a little bit of cav. So put in your votes now and uh, let me know who you think is going to win, England or the Hungarian force. And wow, look at this. This cav is getting uh, slaughtered by arrows right now. So it looks like he's going to try to flank around with these nice Knights Hospitaller. Ooh, some good shots by the crossbows. This cab unit, uh, their size is fairly small, but they can be used. If they're used right, they can be pretty deadly. But it looks like they're still losing units to Archer Fire. I don't know if he's using them as a diversion or what. Uh, but we have some dismounted Feudal Knights who have are going berserk here and they're gonna I guess try to get a charge on those crossbows he does have like protection from the terrain here it's a slight hill but oh yeah the cab is down to two guys so cab is no longer a weapon he can really use in this battle anymore oh now he's down to one the lone cab man the lone rider alright so now uh, Hungary is Hungarian force is moving up his men. His archers are firing. We've got the uh, English knights over to his flank. Papa Woodchuck. Pretty awesome name. He's going to get into position here. Oh, we have a routing English knight here. And here we go. Here comes the Charge of Ages. This is for the glory. Remember, this is last man standing. It doesn't matter how many kills you got. And it looks like he's going to be overwhelmed a little bit here by uh, these English knights. And... <laughs> These armored swordsmen are going to put up one hell of a fight. It looks like victory seems certain for the Engl English infantry here. And he has broken through this flank and he's going to go after the crossbows. And this is not looking good for Swiss man. It's not over yet, but it does not look good. All these troops are all bloodied up. They've seen so much action. They just want the day to end and the fighting to be over. Here comes the uh, dismounted English knights. They're flanking around. And these guys break instantly. They're not even putting up a fight. And uh, the Hungarian infantry, they're still, they're still fighting. But they're shaken. It's only a matter of time until they break. And it looks like England is going to have this, this victory for today. And oh yeah, here comes a flank from some English knights right into the backs of these feudal knights. And that is it. That is the battle. Good game. It was a lot of fun. And it looks like England, uh, Papa Woodchuck, you are victor. You are the last man standing out of four armies. Now, the reason they didn't want to do scored, basically, is because if you have a strategy of spamming a lot of cheaper units, you're going to lose a lot of units. And you're going to give the enemy a lot of kills. But it's kind of your strategy to use cheaper units. If you guys get what I'm saying. Um, if you bring more of an elite army that are very high quality, you're going to score a ton of kills, but you can still lose in the end. So I think that's why they went with 
the last man standing basically if you guys get what I'm saying but yeah look at I would have came in second place if this was scored um, I think somewhere second or third but uh, good game guys it was a lot of fun Swiss man getting a ton of kills but uh, I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time